hello guys welcome to our channel and in today's video we'll be teaching you guys how to configure an ip camera on a dvr a digital video recorder which is normally used for analog system or cctv cameras as people may know it it has been believed widely that you cannot run an ip camera on a dvr system well with the advancement in technology this dream has now become a reality you can now run the analog cameras and ip cameras on the same dvr which will create a hybrid system this video will be teaching you how to do that the step-by-step -step process the connection and the configuration on the system so next up we'll be showing you the materials that you need to set up this hybrid system and here we have the ip camera that's what we're going to use and the digital video recorder you can see is high vision we also have the high vision analog camera that we're going to use the PoE switch still high vision we have also our BNC connector cable the RJ45 cable also and now we'll be diving into the connections here we have our IP camera We'll be using for the installations and also our DVR, not an NVR because this you can see it has the BNC port at the back and this is the front interface. We also have our network switch and so our network cable. We have two of them, so we are going to be using the boots too. And also we have our VGA cable that we'll be using for our output display and our BNC cable here we have uh, a mini display that uh, has been connected before to the camera it's a very simple connections also we have our BNC cable but right now we are going to be plugging our power adapter to the DVR so let's also put our output unit which is uh, our output cable which is a video cable you can also use your HDMI cable depends on the output unit you are using either your monitor or your TV okay now let's power our POE switch and make sure it's firmly inserted now let's put in our mouse which we are going to be also using throughout this very video we have the mouse port at the back and the front also we are going to be using the one in the front also we are going to be putting our PNC cable we already have an existing connections before so we are just going to the connection is quite easy so if you're not we're going to discuss that in maybe another video so now let's plug in our bmc connector and you can see there's something like a hook there so once you plug in you lock to avoid pulling and now let's connect our camera you see, you can see this is an IP camera because of the network port. So let's connect our cable, our network cable. So and you know because of the PoE, it's going to be powered by the PoE switch. So we also have a network port at the back of the TVR right now we are not going to be using the network port at the back of the NVR DVR because we, that will serve as a link our uplink to the switch so we have five ports at the back of our PoE switch but one of them is an uplink which cannot power a camera so right now we have four of them that is written PoE those are the 
ports that we are going to be use, using to power our camera. The last one, the, the first one, which is one of them, cannot power the camera because there is no PoE switch written on it. So we are going to be using the one with PoE switch. That one that is not written PoE switch serves as an uplink to the DVR. So right now, we have just power plugged our camera with the, to the PoE switch and now we are going to be sending an uplink from the port 1 which is not a PoE to the DVR yeah so now the cable that's the network cable will be going to the DVR which is our uplink remember so okay now let's power the system all right now our system is put in and we are going to be doing the setup now so right now we don't need to change the language because we need the English and so we are going to click on last we are going to be putting our password and make sure you put a very lengthy password for the setup so that so that you don't uh, and make sure you don't forget it because it's actually very expensive to really correct so let's move on so put in the password okay now our DVR has been activated so next this is where you put all your details now we just draw a pattern like a normal phone we switch to setting of the time we are using plus one as the time we don't need the IP address so we we'll next and now this is our video interface and right now we have five cameras displaying but we are going to be using the channel 8 as our IP so we'll click on the camera we we'll go to IP on number 8 and we'll click on the IP number eight so we are supposed to say okay or apply but let's just see we'll go back to analog again i'll go back to ip so click on that camera it's ip and we'll apply it this time so we'll apply it and uh, the system is going to reboot so that the system will is going to keep that very settings so let's wait for the system to reboot and mind you you can also change the whole system to IP once you click the up IP space that's clicking where there's channel there's C HD C B B S and uh, IP so our system is booting up again so we are going to wait for the system to come up remember now we have switch camera 8 from AHD to IP so that particular channel now once once the system boots up that particular camera is going to be on IP system IP camera setup so almost the same process we did so now we are going to put back the pattern that we used to we set up then so yeah now okay we are back to our interface after the reboot so now let's go back to our camera so you can see now that that camera 8 is on IP okay let's go back to the camera interface so we click now on the add button at the bottom left you can see the camera is already displaying there up but just the IP address so now you have to put the password of the camera so that you can the DVR will be able to log in that very camera for display so we click on add so you can see that the add button is not on that very channel again so but it's not yet still displaying 
so we need to give the DVR the same IP address that the camera is carrying so we go to network and go to the TCP IP to change the IP address of the DVR to that of the IP camera so we change it okay now we click on apply okay okay and now our IP camera is showing and now we have successfully configured the analog camera and the IP camera together okay and that will be all for our today's video please kindly subscribe to our youtube channels and follow us on all our social media platform and uh, we'll have more interesting video coming up thank you very much